All right, so let's look at making a halo ring today. So let's start with our gem. And let's pick a seven millimeter stone. Let's create it. All right, now I need a circle that runs underneath it. Starting from zero. The size is seven mils, so I type in seven and then enter all right so now i've got a circle let's lift the stone up a bit okay and now i'm going to type in the command slab s l a b and the stones they gain there 1.5 so i'm going to offset it 1.75 and then i'm going to go down in depth 1.8 And that's the base of the top halo. Now I need to extract an ISO curve that runs around the top plate. So I type in ISO curve. And then I've got to pick the surface. Then I snap it to the center of that line. So now I have a line that runs around the center. So let's go to Grasshopper Tools, James on Curve. Select the curve, and now it places the gems on. So the first thing I want to do is just line the curves up. So I grab the last stone, put it at 9 o'clock, and then grab the first stone, put that at 9 o'clock. Okay, and I go back and change the size of the stone to 1.55 that gives me a little bit of a margin of error if the stones are not the same size okay i look to see if they even amount i know there's an even amount because north south east and west have a stone so they're even and all i want to do now is lower them down because this is a fishtail setting so i go to the height of the stone i click on it and i just scale them down a bit and i go ahead and create those stones Right, now I need to put the cutters. So that requires us to select the gems. And now it puts in the main cutters for the center stone, which are too long. I'm going to squash them down a bit. And move them slightly up. Now I'll make them slightly wider because they're a bit thin, just slightly wider. And this is a personal preference, obviously. Now it's time to put the middle prongs in. So go down to middle, turn it on, fix the line so it puts it between the two. And I need to make them a little bit longer so it extends outside my surface. And as thin as I can, I just scale it all the way down to zero, making them as thin as I can, and we are done. So I create the cutter and create the middle cutter. All right, so now we want a Boolean difference. So let's turn the stones off. Let's go to the gem layer, turn them off. Select that and go to Boolean difference. Select all the cutters, enter, and enter again. If you turn this layer off, you can see that's what we've done. So we want to pipe this so we can cut the center out. So you can type in the word pipe. Make sure you pick diameter. And let's make that one mil. Enter and enter. And we want a Boolean difference again. So we go to the command line, we right click in the command line, and we pick Boolean difference. Pick this, the pipe we just made, and then move this pipe to a layer on its own. So I'm moving it to this layer, and I'm turning it off. All right, now when you in in version 8, it looks like the light bulb for your layers is turned on. And then you kind of look at it and go, did I delete it? Are they here? They're not here. What you actually have to do is you'll see it, it looks like the light bulb's on, but in fact it is off. So when you turn it on again, it comes on. All right, so all we have to do now is create the holes underneath our stones. So I'm going to go back to the cutters, select our gems. And all I want to do is raise, I don't want the hole to go all the way through, so I'm just going to shorten the distance. So just the points are covered. OK, 
Okay, and now we're going to Boolean difference again. So right click, let's recall Boolean difference, pick the cutters we just selected, enter, and turn that layer off. Right, the cutting is now done. Let's go back and let's make the ring. Oh, wait, let me just fill it. Let's go to solid, fill it edge. Let's round this bottom corner off. Uh, one is good. Enter and let's fill it the inside edge. Let's recall that command and let's change it to 0.5. And let's pick the inside edge. There we go. All right. So let's go to our ring. Let's pick our ring rail size. So we are USA and size six. Okay. Now we can lift everything up, put it approximately in its position. And raise the halo up. All right, so this is just a plain round wire shank. So I just want to draw a round circle from two points, circle from two points. I'm clicking the bottom of the line, going down 1.8, holding shift and right click. So we could revolve or we can do a one rail sweep. Let's do the one rail sweep. So let's go to our tools, pick in sweep one, select circle, enter and enter again. Okay, now we need a little seat underneath where the top pallet connects onto the shank. So we need a little circle. Let's hide this gem away. And let's draw a circle, I don't know, approximately, probably 1.5. So starting from center, starting from zero, I press enter. And I enter in the size of the circle, which is 1.5, and I press enter again. Okay, I select the curve now. And I want to take a circle from two points again. I need this to be 1.5. And here it actually, it fails. And let me show you what actually happens. So with eight, depending on where you click, you can actually turn it the opposite way. Let me show you, which is obviously something you don't want to do. So it's easier. I'm just showing you this is where it wants to be. But you know what? Let's just delete it. And let's just make sure we put the circle in right. So let's just repeat that command. Okay, 1.5. Alt shift and create a circle. So let's do a sweep one again. This time I'll pull it down from the surface menu. So sweep one, it's the same tool. Pick the rail, pick the cross section and enter. All right, let's grab this, put this into its position. Okay, let's bring back all the stones. Turn the layer on. And now I'm going to add in our prong that supports the center stone and supports the gallery at the same time. Let's make sure the snapping is turned off because I don't want it to snap to anything. And I'm just going to draw where the prong would go in and at the same time where the gallery or supports between the top and bottom meet. All right, let's pipe this. So solid. No. Solid pipe, 1.2, enter for the top, and then enter for the bottom. Okay, we need to rotate this to its position. So type in rotate, take your hand off the mouse. So type in rotate, take your hand off the mouse. Rotation is from zero, enter, and then the degree is 45. 
and enter again. All right, and we are almost done. Let's mirror this prong. It's going to transform mirror across the y-axis. Hold shift, select the other prong, and let's mirror again across the x-axis. And that's it. That's our halo. Thanks for watching. All right, so all we have to do now is mirror, so under transform. Here we go. Mirror, y-axis, and then holding shift, mirror again across the x-axis. And that's it, the ring is made. Thanks for watching.